All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyond and this hour, where after expelling officials from Moscow for alleged spying, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has said that relations between Russia and NATO are at their lowest point since the end of the Cold War. And that is because, according to him, is because of the Russian behavior. NATO expelled about eight members of Russia's mission to the alliance. They were accused of secretly working as Russian intelligence officers. Jens Stoltenberg also said that the decision to expel the Russians was in line with what he called an increase in Russian malignant activity, which NATO had to react to. When we made the, decision the ties between the West and Moscow have slumped in recent years since the Kremlin's 2014 annexation of Crimea and also over its involvement in the conflict in eastern Ukraine. The relationship between NATO and Russia is at its lowest point uh, since uh, the end of the Cold War. And uh, that's because of the Russian behavior. Uh, we have seen uh, their aggressive actions, not least against uh, Ukraine, uh, but also the uh, significant uh, military buildup uh, and the violations of uh, uh, important uh, arms control agreements, like, uh, for instance, the uh, INF uh, treaty that uh, led to the demise of uh, this treaty that actually banned all the uh, intermediate range uh, weapon uh, systems. Now, NATO stripped the undeclared Russian intelligence officers of official accreditation and reduced the size of the Russian delegation to 10. Russia has long had an observer mission at NATO as part of the two decade old NATO Russia Council. And meetings of the NATO Russia Council have not been held since 2019 in the backdrop of the heightened tensions. Now, reacting to the expulsion, the Kremlin has said that it shows NATO members have no desire to normalize relations with Moscow. But Jens Stoltenberg said that NATO is in fact ready to engage in meaningful dialogue with Russia. And has also invited Russia for a pretty long time. But so far, Russia has not responded positively. This is all according to what NATO's Jens Stoltenberg has had to say. Uh, we are ready to engage in meaningful dialogue with, uh, with Russia. Uh, we are ready also to convene a, a NATO-Russia Council meeting. Uh, we have actually invited Russia for now a long time. Uh, so far, Russia has not uh, responded uh, uh, positively, and therefore there has not been any meeting in the NATO-Russia Council. But we are ready to meet because we believe that to sit down, to talk, um, is uh, always important, but especially important when... Uh, when uh, uh, times are difficult, uh, tensions are, are, are high as they are now, and therefore uh, we will continue to strive for a meaningful dialogue with, uh, with Russia. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.